Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons with me, Oaks Fu. And guess where we're going back to? That's right, my favorite house in the world. Your slots for can't someone find me, Belle? Hey, you! I, I can see it in your eyes. You're a competent adventurer. Okay, go get it. Find me, Belle. I'll be waiting. Now, the thing about these guys is, where is it? She all right? That broke so forgetful. Oh, we're gonna need the secret code again. Now, how'd that go? Okay, maybe I'll remind remember that. So three, two, one. Yeah, I'm not gonna remember that. One of these guys says it. Have you seen our ship? It's over by the graveyard. We haven't fixed it, so it's in terrible shape. A bloke we sent looking for the bell hasn't come back. I told him he ought to search a ship. So stormy to come. Yeah, where is it? Come on, there's one of you that tells me. Our ship. Uh, come on. Someone tells us. Okay, um, maybe someone doesn't tell us. Is it this guy? Hi, I guess I'm used to light here now. Yeah, we heard you the first time. Okay, well, these guys aren't telling us, but the place that we actually have to go to find the other half of the ship, um, I showed you it a few episodes ago, there's a ship that goes right through the graveyard, and somehow by going through the bottom of Sabrosia ends up in the top of... in the bottom of this world. Whatever. We get some... We've got some rings to appraise anyway. So we get the Zora Ring, Dive Without Breathing. Eh, it's not really that useful unless you submerge forever. Red Holy Ring, no damage from small rocks. That actually does come in handy sometimes in Sabrosia, but we're m almost done with Sabrosia. Maple's Ring, Maple Meetings go up. Um, this one actually is quite useful. Um, basically, I believe it's every 30 enemies that you kill, Maple shows up, but with the Maple Ring, it's every 15 enemies that you kill, which she holds a lot of great stuff. That's probably where we're going to get a ton of our rings, so... Aha! Quicksand Ring. Now this... Oh my god, Harry told me about this. I never thought about this. Quicksand Ring? No sinking in quicksand. If he's right, I could have used this against Manhandla, and basically the I would have been able to walk on that ground like it was normal ground. And somehow I forgot about that. <sighs> it would have made things so much easier. Alright, so the desert is down here, but before we do, there is a heart piece that we've been able to get for quite a while, ever since we got the Zora Flippers, and I've just been going past it over and over again because I keep forgetting that it's there. And I told you guys very early on that, oh, hey, I'm gonna forget about this. <laughs> and lo and behold, I did. Wait. I thought there was a patch of soft soil here. I wonder why we didn't get it. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Plant a gash of seed anyway, why not? Got no, got no use for them if they're not planted. So it's really weak. Oh, come on. Really? I don't want to go all the way. I don't want to do it. Can we just sneak through here? Maybe? No, we can't. Oh! But there is something we can do here that we haven't <laughs> been able to do. Uh, Rod of Seasons. I don't even remember what this is, because I, I almost always forget about it. Let's see what you are. Ooh. And we can do this, too. Well, again, we've got most of the items in the game, so it's not that big of a... Got a ring, get it appraised later! I have no idea what it is! But we'll find out later when we get it appraised! But we're not gonna do that until after the desert. No, 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 no. We want to go this way. That's just gonna lead us back down to where we are. Ooh, hey, one of Golden Beasts. Um, so yeah, there are four Golden Beasts. 
that show up, I believe they show up randomly, and they take hell of a lot of time to kill, and once you kill them all, you get a ring. Uh, I think it increases your damage and decreases the damage that uh, enemies do. I probably am wrong with that, though, so if I am, please correct me, because I've only gotten all four of the Golden Beasts once. I'm pretty sure they just show up randomly. I think you can use scent seeds to increase the chances that they're going to show up, but for the most part, you know how much I love scent seeds. <laughs> but yeah, for the most part, I usually go through the game seeing one of them. I will be getting all four of them, but... Oh, we did get you. Okay. I'm a liar. But you know what? We got... we got... we got a ring. We got a golden beast, so I'm not gonna complain. But anyway, what I was saying is that I usually only see one of them throughout my an entire playthrough of this game. One or two. I usually only kill one of them. One of them usually kills me. Um, I am gonna be getting all four of them. Probably not on screen, just because I'm not good like that. And you know what? I'm gonna show you guys later what happens when you break signs, what that guy says. Because we have broke one sign. You won't get too mad at us. I believe it's you gotta break like ten or more signs for him to get actually mad at you. But he'll be disappointed. Anyway. Look familiar, look familiar. It should. This is exactly how it looks in Link's Awakening. Like the beach. Anyway. Samasa Desert ahead. Samasa Desert. <laughs> Go look for the bell. Then I can go back. Thank ye. Yeah, basically that allows us to actually do this. So one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three. Aha! I did remember it. Ha 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 ha. I thought I would be completely useless at that. Anyway, uh, I am going to equip quicksand ring. Because this is one of those places where I hate these enemies. I hate these enemies. Out of every Zelda game, these are the enemies that screw me over more than anything else. We are going to want to drop into all, almost all of these, um, these pits, just because I can never remember what's in any of them. But I'll show you exactly what the quicksand ring does. Pokey! Surprisingly, this is the only game that Pokey shows up in, I think. Unlike Link's Adventure, uh, Link's Awakening, which has all the Mario enemies in it, I don't think they actually ever had Pokey. And the other thing I don't like about the Samasa Desert is these guys just infinitely respawn. But yeah, see, we're, we're not being moved by the quicksand. That's what I don't like about the Samasa Desert, that those guys infinitely respawn. Otherwise, the Samasa Desert is abs probably my favorite place since, Sub since Subrosia. No, I don't want to freaking shield. Get thee away from me. At least we can use our brand new shield. Come on, Pokey. Uh, ow. Ow. Caught between a cactus and another cactus. Well, I might as well show you guys the ship. Actually, wait a minute. Aren't you something special? You are! What are you? Thanks again, Crinkson, for letting me know that I can use Sword as B. Otherwise, I would be completely screwed in areas like this. What are you? I absolutely have no idea what we're going to get doing this, so. Aha! What is this? Another Gasha Ring. Okay. Hopefully it's something useful. Ah! No, I've got my sword and shield set to the wrong buttons. Let's plant a tree in the desert. That'll end well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what's basically going to happen is I'm planting all these Gasha Seeds, and I'll probably come back at the very end and just pick them all. So yeah, this is the other end of the ship. It makes no sense, because the aft end of the ship is pointing downward. 
Like, the back of the ship was pointing upward in Sabrosia, and then it sinks into the sand down here. And then somehow, by going into the ground of a land that's underneath this land, it pokes up through the bottom and in the opposite direction. I know it's not that big of a deal, but it's something that's always just bugged me about this game, that they would have that kind of... They wouldn't have the kind of foresight to fix something like that. I don't know. Can't fall down in there. Come on, I know some of, one of these is something that's special. It's just trying to figure out which one it is. Okay, that one just kills me. That one just kills me, too. That one just kills me. See, without the quicksand ring, it's really... With the quicksand ring on, it's really hard to actually get to the very center to fall down. Okay, so that was just a complete waste of life. Come on, let's get the right one. I know that one of these has something with it. I'm pretty sure that you have to go through one of these to get a piece of heart. I hope. Screw you, Deku guy. I don't need your frickin' shield. Why would we need a shield anyway? We're not losing them to like likes or anything. Right, not either of those two. Watch, I'm completely wrong, and it was just that one that gave us the gaseous seat. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna talk to the boat ghost pirate. Ahoy! When I was searching the desert for the bell, I got caught in a sandstorm. I awoke like this. I can't go on to the afterlife. If you pity me, help me find that bell. My skull is rolling out in the desert. Find that first. Oh yeah, I completely forgot about this. Yeah, we might have needed to talk to him first before falling down those. Actually, no, wait, because his skull is just right up here, isn't it? Aha, there it is. And for some reason, he's wearing a bow. But let's go through here, because I think there's a fairy fountain in here. There is. And I'm completely fine with that. But anyway... Now that we've found him, I believe we just pick him up, right? What is it? Uh, okay, what do we... Shovel? No. That's really funny, though, that I can dig under him. Um... Okay, just press A. I thought you, you picked him up. I've been waiting, matey. Now let's find that bell. Carry me around. I'll tell you if I think we're close. And just what his alarm is, is one of the funniest things. Where is it? Is it up here? No, is it down below? I can't remember. Ow! I got sand in my mouth! <laughs> I forgot about that too. Ah, get away from me! Why are my screens cut off? That's not fair, I can't see you. Where are we going, Skull Guy? Where are we headed? Anywhere. Time now. Anything? Any picking up anything on your bell radar? Come on, I, I honestly cannot remember where the bell actually is, because it's been so long. Oh, it is over here. I got sand in my mouth! Well, I'm taking care of- Hey, I know you got sand- I know you got sand in your mouth. No, 
not bring me off the screen, because then we have to go back to the lake to find him, I believe. At least these guys give you hearts a lot. It's something nice. Okay. Aha! That's it! No doubt about it! Oh. I wanted to show you guys the, the mouth more, like it... Rusty Bell, will something this rusty do? Uh oh that's the Captain Bell! I hope that will do. It's awful rusty. Well, at least I can go on to the afterlife now. Grass is up to you. Take it easy. <laughs> Bastard. Alright, so next episode, we'll bring this back to the captain. Uh, it's been Alex Fu with Let's Play Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons, and let's get out of this frickin' desert. Alright, take it easy.